Welcome to the ABC of cardiology series. Today is A is for arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is translated from two Greek words, A and rhythmia. A means absence or loss of, rhythmia means rhythm. So a cardiac arrhythmia is absence of normal heart rhythm. A better term than arrhythmia is dysrhythmia because when we're talking about arrhythmias we're not actually talking about no heart rhythm we're talking about a disturbance of the normal heart rhythm so dysrhythmia is a better word than arrhythmia now the first thing to understand is that the heart is a pump and to beat most effectively it has to beat at a certain rate and a certain rhythm therefore if you have any unsolicited disruption to the rhythm and the rate then that can cause uh, inefficiency of the heart as a pump and therefore any arrhythmia, dysrhythmia by definition signifies one thing and one thing only and that is inefficiency of the heart as a pump. Dysrhythmias can come and go in which case they're considered paroxysmal meaning that they just happen and then at other times they go away uh, or they can stay in which case they're called persistent. Virtually all dysrhythmias are more likely to be triggered off by intercurrent illnesses, stimulants, dehydration, uh, lack of sleep, exhaustion, electrolyte disturbances, and stress. The thing that makes a dysrhythmia dangerous is the level and duration of inefficiency. So sustained dysrhythmias, sustained arrhythmias, those that go on for a prolonged period of time, mean sustained inefficiency. Non-sustained dysrhythmias, which stay only for a few seconds, mean non-sustained inefficiency. So sustained dysrhythmias are more likely to be dangerous than non-sustained dysrhythmias. Very fast or very slow dysrhythmias are more likely to be dangerous than dysrhythmias which occur at a normal heart rate. So if the heart is going excessively slow, that adds to the inefficiency caused by the dysrhythmia. If the heart's going excessively fast, well, the heart is just not getting enough time to fill with blood and therefore less blood is being pumped out. So that contributes to the inefficiency of the dysrhythmia. It's worth noting that dysrhythmias which come from the bottom of the heart, ventricular dysrhythmias, tend to be more dangerous than atrial dysrhythmias. When the dysrhythmia is coming from the bottom of the heart, it is by nature far more inefficient and therefore ventricular dysrhythmias are ten tend to be more dangerous than rhythm disturbances which come from the top of the heart. Finally, it's worth knowing that all dysrhythmias become more sinister if the heart is already damaged to start off with. That's why if you have a heart rhythm disturbance, one of the most important questions are, is it sustained or non-sustained? Is it uh, fast, too, too fast, too slow, or is it going at a normal rate? Is it ventricular or atrial or supraventricular? And most importantly, is it happening on the background of an already structurally abnormal or damaged heart, in which case it makes it more dangerous. I hope you found this useful. All the best.